Hello, this is Daniel March, and today I'm going to be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be doing my death predictions video, you know, giving my thoughts on who, who I think is going to die in the finale um, for episode 16, season 5, Walking Dead Conquer, which is the name of the episode. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with the Alexandrians, and then go off to Rick's main group. Um, so yeah, first off, I'm just going to say off the bat, I just think maybe anybody could die from the Alexandrian group. Like, any of the random extras that we see in the background, I think any of them could die, you know, just some random people. Um, I mean, because you, I mean, extras, they're dispensable, you know, they're like red shirts, it really doesn't matter if they live or die. Um, so yeah, no, but now out of the main core Alexandria group, who do I think is that gonna die? Well, first off, right off the bat, Pete, he's, prob he's probably gonna die. Um, Rick will probably kill him, or Carol, because there's actually a sneak peek. With Carol in Pete's house, um, a knife right to his temple, right there in his chest. Um, and he kind of, he, he feels pretty beat up already. He doesn't really want to mess around with Carol. I mean, I wouldn't mess around with Carol, but, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, Pete, I do think he will die in this episode. Um, next up, Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas, oh, I, I hope he dies in this episode. I hope to God he dies in this episode. Um, hopefully at the at, at the hands of Glenn. Um, so yeah, Nicholas. I mean, also we also find out find out he has the the gun. So that does bring up an interesting point. He wanted to try to kill Glenn, and I think he killed try to kill Glenn. Um, I'm I'm actually gonna be doing a discussion topic on that. You know, will Nicholas try to kill Glenn? Um, but you know, right off the bat, I do think he will try to kill Glenn. Now, will he be successful? I'll get to that later. Um, so yeah, Nicholas, I hope that he does die, um, because honestly, he's a piece of shit survivor. Um, it, I mean, in the, in the show, it, in the comics, he has a wife and a, and a son. In the show, he only seems to have a son, and his son in the, in the show is, like, way older than his son in the comics. His son in the comics is, like, six. In the show, he's, he's about 15, 16 years old, maybe 14 at the youngest. So, he really hasn't, the son hasn't really experienced that much death, and I think it's about time for him to actually... Um, experience something, so maybe fair enough. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I do think Nicholas will die. Um, you know, and for the son, you know, that's just how it is. Um, now Reg, I do think Reg could die as well. I do think um Reg could die as well. Um, and by that, and for that matter, Deanne, I do think she could die as well. Um, you know, Pete, he'll probably he pro in the comics he really doesn't take it. Take the fact that he lost all too well, so he kind of just rampages and he's about to, and he basically kills uh, Regina, which in the, in the TV show will be Reg. Um, basically ends up killing um, Reg and Fury, and you know that's when Rick is given the go ahead to kill him, to kill Peter uh, or Pete. But you know I think Reg is more likely to die than Deanna. Um, so I mean same situation. I do think Pete could probably storm, you know, just. Go, go insane, maybe kill a few other random random Alexandrians, but I'll definitely kill P um Reg in my opinion. Um, Deanna possibly kill Deanna. I mean, I really wouldn't care because honestly, I, I hate Deanna mostly because she's so she's such of a she's such a dumb survivor. Um, you know, obviously because she be she's probably smarter than most of the survivors out there. She's probably one of the smarter survivors in Alexandria, but compared to Rick's group, she's extremely retarded and extremely dumb. Um, so yeah, another, um, and maybe another random character, maybe Tobin, I mean, it really doesn't matter if he dies, um, I mean, so yeah. Um, now, as for Rick's group, as for Rick's core group, this is where we have to actually analyze a few things. Now, Daryl, um, yeah, Norman Reedus, who portrays Daryl, he's, he basically said to bring Kleenex, um, bring Kleenex to a season five, um, five finale, um, then you have, Make a cut let's who portrays Abraham and he said and he basically said that says that the that the finale is gonna piss us off or we're gonna be satisfied. So yeah, and another one one more thing to point out is that in this season we've seen a death from season two, season three, season four, and season five. Um, if you haven't noticed already, because for season, because we have because we have Beth from season two who died. Um, from season three we had Tyrese who died. From season four. We've had Bob who died, and from season five we had um we had um Noah who died. So you know we have Beth, Tyrese, Bob, 
and Noah. So it's possible that they're going to kill off someone from season one. Um, you know, and, and with Daryl's or Norman Reedus' comic that we need, we will probably want to bring tissues um, to, the, to the finale. Uh, you know, and Michael Collins said it's going to piss us off, but at the same time, be some, somewhat satisfying. We, we kind of have to look at some of the season one survivors logically. So who do we have from season one? We have Rick, Carl, Carol, Glenn, you know, Glenn, Daryl, and Morgan. We have to remember Morgan. He's still in there. He's he's roaming somewhere. He's somewhere, but he's somewhere. In, he's somewhere in the world. That's all. I don't know. So so Morgan. I don't think they're gonna kill him, especially off screen. That that because they've been teasing him so much. Um, I don't think they're gonna kill him off screen. Rick. I don't think they're gonna kill because he's the main character. Basically, that's it. Um, Carl. I don't think they're gonna kill him off because again, he's he's one of the main characters. Um. Yeah, everybody here is kind of a main character, but you know, but like in priority, priority wise, Carl more important. Now, now we're down to Carol, Daryl, and Glenn. So out of those three, who do I think are more likely to die? Daryl. Here's the thing with Daryl. Lately, it is it it has become more likely for him to die, especially at random with the death of Tyrese. However, due to the fact that it's one, now it's one of those double edged swords, cause. I would say that they ha they haven't focused him focused on him a lot, so I don't think they're gonna kill him off. However, as we saw with Tyrese, it doesn't matter if they don't give him enough time; they can still kill him off. Um, thing is that, that he is out there in the world now, as long, alongside Aaron. You know, so he could probably meet the wolves, and maybe I'm I'm, pre I'm pretty sure the wolves could overpower him. Um, if there's like at least three people, I do think they could overpower them. Um. So yeah, that's an interesting situation. The thing is, we really haven't seen the wolves. We we, we keep seeing signs of the wolves, but we ha really haven't seen them. The closest thing we've seen to actually seeing them is um a fire, you know that fire at the beginning of the previous episode, and that's it. So Daryl, I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna kill him off. Now as for Glenn and Carol, that's a whole different situation. Um, Glenn, I'm gonna start off with Glenn. Glenn and Nicholas have that rivalry. We know Nicholas has a gun. Okay, so you know Nicholas could very well try, to, as I said before, try to kill um Glenn. At the same time, Glenn could go and try to kill Nicholas, which I would be okay with. Um, now it has to be now according to the comics comments, it has to be sad and it's gonna piss us off. Killing off Glenn would piss us off, and it would be very sad because he's also because we've had him since episode one of The Walking Dead. Because you know we haven't seen him because even in episode one we heard his voice. You know he's rescued Rick. Um, he just lost Noah, which is basically his best friend up until now. Um, you know, and he's found Mag. He's found love in the apocalypse. So many things have happened to him, and you know, just to kill him off already, that would be pretty sad. Um, and they had to focus a bit more on him. However, you also have Carol, which they, they from the start we've seen a lot of development out of her having that Rambo entrance with Terminus, growing up Terminus with uh, Rambo style. You know. Um, the stuff is Sam the Cookie Monster. Um, you know her playing possum throughout all of Alexandria. Um, and she even tells Pete in the in the promo that she says that even if I kill you, nobody's gonna be, um, no, nobody's gonna believe that I would do it because I've been so innocent. And you know Pete's kind of just like looking at her, it's like how, how like you know it is they it they stink them to your state. So, so yeah, Carol. You know I do think she could probably die too. Glenn and, Car um, Glenn and Carol, I think, are the most likely to die out of Rick's core group. Also, she is from season one. We've, uh, I'm pretty sure we've, we've had her since episode one, if anything, episode two. But she's been there again since like the beginning. But I'm pretty sure she was. I'm, I'm pretty sure she was introduced in episode one, if anything. Maybe in the background, but still. Um. You know. Um. You know, I mean, what else? I mean, we've also we've had the development with her. Um. You know, with Ed and Ed being abusive, and now we have Pete. He's been abusive to his wife, and it would make sense. You know, I want you know, kind of poetically, if she dies, um, but at the same time, you you need Pete to die, um, and so yeah, I mean, I, and also throughout season five, uh, you know, she's she's dealt with all the stuff again, Rambo style, and then Sam the Cookie Monster, then her playing possum, um, you know, the stuff at the hospital with um her seeing Beth being just brains blown out. Um, her situation with Daryl in Atlanta, she's had so much development. So yeah, so I think Carol's more likely than Glenn, but I could also see Glenn dying. 
Now, as for the other people in Rick's group, Judith, I think she could die, honestly. Honestly, if the episode plays out just as I think it will, it should play out, I say should, I think that Judith could die if it plays out just how I think it's going to play out. Basically, the way I think it's going to play out is that within, because the episode is now a 90 minute episode, they've confirmed this. Um, it seems from the promos that we're going to see um, people dealing with Rick, you know, people not really trusting Rick. But I think if at the at the end, like the last act, per se, if the last act of the the of the episode, we see zombies storm in into Alexandria, or we see the wolves actually going in, I think zombies would be more likely, and then I do think Judith could die. Tara, could she die? I think there's a uh, there's a possibility that she could die because she hasn't really woken up. Um, and the only thing that we know that she is some caught. Uh, the only thing that we know is that Tara, um, in the in the previous episode, in, in the previous episode, Rosita said that Tara is stable. So, you no, know, that just means that she isn't losing that much blood anymore, if any. But that that doesn't mean she's cautious. You know, she's probably so unconscious. So yeah, so could Tara die? That's a 50-50 situation, possibly. Now another one I want to throw in, throw in, throw in the mix is Gabriel, and it's not because you know I, I really don't like his character or whatever. It's because there's this one scene in the promos I find really interesting. I find it really interesting as to why they put it there. Um, there's a scene where Gabriel he's in, he's not in his he's not in his normal uniform, you know, with the he's not in his normal uniform with the black button down black pants, but you know, black dress pants and maybe even the coat and the little white collar thing, collar neck right there. It's a very interesting scene, in my opinion. It's like two seconds, which is very interesting. We see Gabriel, and, he, and he's in jeans. He's in jeans, a white, a, a white long sleeve shirt, and what it seems to be a knife or a gun. He has he has the weapon in, in one of in his one of his hands. Um, I, I forgot which one. I, for, I I mean I forgot what type of weapon. I don't know if it's a gun or a knife. Um, but he is. It does look like he's either going outside of Alexandria or. I think it's more likely that he's going outside of Alexandria because he doesn't really seem bloody. Um, he seems kind of clean cut, so that does so. You know, could he die if he's leaving Alexandria? That'd be that'd be interesting, in my opinion. Because, um, and you know, I and I did, and I did focus on that scene on that small section that frame, and it did look a lot like Father Gabriel. Um, so yeah, so that that's a very interesting scene in my opinion. You know, why is Gabriel leaving? You no, know, I mean I don't think he'd be exiled. If anything, he basically proved what he said. We what he told that Deanna like two episodes ago. And he's a preacher, so you know, again, not not real any real reason for him to be exiled. And if he were to, and if he were to be exiled, why is he? Why isn't he wearing his typical preacher clothes? So you know, it's kind of an interesting scene. You know, is he learning how to fight? You know, that's all I have to say. So I do think it is. There's a possibility of Gabriel dying just because of that one scene, which I find really interesting. So again, just to go over the list of who do I think is going to die: Pete, Nicholas. Reg, Deanna, Tobin, Carol, Glenn, Judith, Gabriel, Tara, and if anything, maybe some random other, some other random people thrown in there. Um, that yeah, some random uh, random people that were probably named in an episode or two, but that we really haven't really, we really don't give a shit, you know. So just some and random people. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the death predictions. What are your thoughts on? For the next episode, who do you think is going to die? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.